What's up guys, Jay Vincent here. Today I'm going to show you irrefutable proof that the evidence for more volume or more sets and more reps being more effective for muscle growth is complete utter nonsense. So it's been brought to my attention a couple of these studies, um, a couple of them, which is kind of weird because a lot of uh, self-proclaimed experts say the majority of research shows more sets and reps is better for muscle growth but it's simply not true. So I looked at a couple of the papers that were sent to me by morons trying to debunk high intensity training principles, which are actually research based. And actually when I looked into the research, the research itself shows that high volume or more sets and more reps doesn't actually achieve better results. But for some reason, the conclusion says they do. Now, one popular paper is uh, one by Brad Schoenfeld. I believe it was published in 2016 or 17. It was a meta-analysis of single set training versus multiple set training. What they found were about 15 peer-reviewed papers that they looked at and compared the results to come to a conclusion whether or not single set training or multiple set training was better for muscle growth. Out of these 15 papers, 10 of them, the majority of them showed no difference in muscle growth. Only five showed a difference. What was their conclusion? Well, it appears that higher volume produces a significantly superior result in muscle hypertrophy. How on earth do you get that conclusion when the majority of the studies you looked at showed the opposite? I'll tell you how. Individuals like Brad Schoenfeld and other researchers, researchers have a financial obligation to the board with which they are associated with to show that the principles that they teach through their certifications, their college curriculum, the CSCS certification, strength and conditioning, everything. They have an obligation to show that those principles are correct. They have a financial incentive. Brad Schoenfeld is literally on the board of direct on the board for the NSCA. So when he goes through this research and he actually sees that there is no significant difference, what's he going to do? He has to say that there's a significant difference because those are the principles they're teaching. It's dishonest, it's lying, and it's fraud. And the biggest problem with this is that the vast majority of people who engage in exercise are doing way more than they need to and undermining their health for in the pursuit of optimal muscle growth. So what researchers like Mike Isretel and Brad Schoenfeld are doing to you are not only wasting your time, they're creating acute trauma in your joints, which over the long period are going to result very likely in joint problems. So they're also undermining your health. They are suggesting you accumulate tons of stress on your body every day of the week in the pursuit of optimal muscle growth, when in the end, the truth is, the irrefutable truth is, your genetics are going to be the final determinant in how big your muscles grow. All exercise protocols, and this has been studied, all exercise protocols will eventually result in your genetic potential. A evidence-based high-intensity high training approach will get you with the least amount of time involved and the least likelihood of injury, pretty much zero likelihood of injury. The Mike Isretel, the Brad Schoenfeld approach will still get you to your genetic potential, no better, with more time involved and more wear and tear on your joints and more overall stress on your body. So what do you think is smarter? So the link to the study is going to be in the description below. You can read it. Go down to the chart where they show all the studies that they compared, and you will see that 10 out of 15 showed no significant difference. Now, one critique of my principles, which keep in mind these aren't my principles. These are principles that the vast majority of exercise literature suggests are the best. People say the studies I use are old and outdated. Well, three or four of the studies that I refer to were in Brad's recent research paper. Starkey, 1996. Sunest, 2003. Ostrowski, 1997. Bataro, 2011. Cannon and Marino, 2010. Those are the studies I refer to. And some critics say, well, Jay Vincent's referring to old research. 
Well, so is Brad Schoenfeld, but you're believing him. So here's the truth, guys. The truth is, as long as you are aggressively fatiguing muscle, single sets are as effective as, as multiple sets. Even the research which tries to disprove this proves this. You can do multiple sets if you'd like. That's fine. Just remember, you're trading extra, unnecessary amounts of time for the same results. And in the end, it's going to be determined by your genetics. If you don't grow massive amounts of muscle immediately, chances are you never are going to. Your gains in muscle will be modest. 98% of people will have modest improvements in muscle size. The problem is most people do not want to accept this. And what they do is they try all kinds of different programs. They try beating themselves into the into the ground and forcing muscle growth. You can't force muscle growth. It is determined by your genetics. So if your genetics are going to determine how much muscle you grow, it would be wise to choose the most time efficient and safe approach to this.